Hi, my name is Brian Wilkinson, President of Matrix Energy Systems out of Montreal. And I'm here today to speak to you about uh, Matrix Air. Matrix Air is a solar air heating system designed for commercial, industrial, uh, fresh air heating applications. The concept behind the Matrix Air system is quite simple. We use the outside of a building's facade to create heat. As the sunlight hits the exterior of the facade, we get about 1,000 watts per square meter striking the exterior surface. We convert about 70% of that, or 700 watts per square meter, into heat. That heat is then being drawn into the building through uh, an air intake, usually located in the bottom half of the wall, which is then drawn into the building. One of the unique features of the system is its simplicity. Almost all buildings have an exterior cladding of some kind. In this particular case, we're using a metal facade. The trick with ours is it uses tiny, tiny perforations. We perforate about 2% of the surface area through which air is passing. What we're able to do then is we're able to increase the temperature of that air to about 70 to 75 degrees over the ambient outside temperature. That is to say, if you have air that's now 50 degrees, 40 degrees Fahrenheit outside, we can bring that air now into about 110, 120 degrees Fahrenheit for space heating applications. Obviously, the key benefit to the system is its ability to reduce the space heating cost for any non-residential building. Uh, while there is considerable talk about the use of photovoltaics and solar water heating, this is one of the uh, best applications of solar technology offering one of the lowest return or one of the highest returns on investments or lowest initial cost. Typically with a payback on a new building of well under one year, often in some cases depending upon the tax grant or tax uh, credit in place, it can be almost immediate. One of the other unique features of the, um, of the system is its ability to filter air. Um, due to the uh, small perforations that are in the cladding, uh, airborne particulate is actually um, not permitted to go through the cladding. As air passes from the outside, uh, the dust collects on the outside of the cladding and the occasional rainstorm has a tendency of rinsing the wall. So not only does the building owner benefit by having reduced energy costs, but the occupants of the building have the benefit of increased fresh air as well as filtered fresh air that's going into the building. Um, we also have uh, the similar uh, product, which is a, a transpired collector, which can be roof mounted. Um, while this uh, particular product is designed to be mounted on a south facade uh, or slightly east or west of uh, true south, uh, not all buildings are configured for that. In some cases, a building may be, um, the south facade could be covered with glass, it could be the front entrance, um, or it could be a brand new building wall, in which case the owner is not in a position to, uh, to reclad the building. In those cases, what we do is we take the exact same cladding and we put it up on the roof in a triangular system, which is a modular system, which can then preheat the uh, make air, air units that are feeding the building directly. While not in use in the uh, heating season, the same system can be used to provide um, heated uh, thermal storage, either into um, a rock bed or a uh, radiant floor or some other uh, heat storage means. It uh, could be um, uh, giant water tanks. Another application, of course, would be with the use of air to water heat exchangers, where the heat that is delivered through the collector during the summer months can be used for uh, heating of water uh, for uh, domestic use or for process use in the case of um, any um, uh, laundry systems, for example, uh, where large quantities of uh, low temperature water, uh, low uh, hot water temperature may be required. Other applications include uh, crop drying, uh, any drying application for produce, be it corn, tobacco, um, in hot climates, we use it for drying tea, for example, drying nuts in uh, California. Um, in those particular cases, what we can do is we can modulate the amount of air that is going through each square foot of the collector. Uh, by doing so, we raise or lower the temperature. Um, we're still always getting the 700 watts per square meter of energy. However, 
we are alternating the difference between the flow rate and the temperature rise of the air. As a result, we can vary the, uh, the temperature and the air volume according to the drying process of the produce that is, um, that is being dried. So in summary, the Matrix Air Solar Air Heating System has a number of benefits. Um, it provides energy savings due to um, its solar gain. Typically about 30% of a building's space heating uh, for ventilation air can be reduced as a result of the use of the system. It provides air filtration. It reduces the uh, any heat losses that are from the building itself are recuperated and returned to the building. As well, it can be used in virtually any industrial, commercial uh, application 